As we take our look back in time, we start this week in 1994 with the reaction in Lloyd Minster to cuts made by then Premier Ralph Klein. The last thing a proud, independent province like Alberta needs is to be at the mercy of its creditors. Premier Ralph Klein says Alberta has charged its card to the limit and it's time to pay back the creditors. Klein says the Alberta government is dealing with a $14 billion debt. Last night, he announced major budget cuts to four government departments in a three-year plan. Klein says the budget for advanced education will be cut by about 14 percent. Social services funding will decrease 18.3 percent. Municipal affairs was hardest hit with a decrease of 42 percent, including a complete phasing out of municipal assistance grants. But the two areas of most concern for Albertans are education and health care. Klein says the Department of Health will deal with a 17.6 percent budget decrease. A local physician says the cutback means Albertans will have to expect less from their health care system. And I think the people should understand that they may end up being longer waiting lists. There may be less technology. Uh, basically, uh, there's a lot of things that will have to go because it's a significant cut. 17% is not something you can trifle with. The cuts to education are also under fire, although Klein says this department has the smallest reduction at 12.4%. The government is reducing the number of school boards from 140 to 60 with a major change to funding. Klein says effective immediately, the government will now be responsible for funding elementary and secondary schools in the province by collecting and redistributing all property taxes. The director of the Lloydminster School Division says he is wary of the government's ability to collect and distribute education funding. Again, has not been convinced that the provincial government has demonstrated the management skills um, appropriate to the, the task of collecting and redistributing money in an appropriate way. After all, the fiscal problems that we have in Alberta um, can be traced directly um, to mismanagement and, and poor political decisions at the provincial level. Well, that's what our plan to balance the budget is all about. Our plan is about restoring financial security, building confidence, and leaving business free to create wealth and put people back to work. But there are also jobs on the line. While the Klein government refused to comment on how many jobs will go, a leaked document from the Labour Minister's office says there will be massive layoffs to be announced on January 24th. That's one month before the provincial treasurer announces further government cuts to keep in line with the three-year deficit reduction plan. And now a story of Lloydminster residents in 1998 using their hobby to share the story of Lloydminster. From the days of the Wild West when they were a target for thieves on horseback to modern times when they carry passengers underwater, high in the sky and underground, trains have fascinated us. And a group of Midwest residents have turned that fascination into a hobby. Kids anywhere from eight years old get their first train for Christmas to grandparents that give them the first train for Christmas. It's, it's that popular. It's wide range of ages and it's not just the men anymore, it's also the women are getting into it too. Four years ago, the local model railroad club built this display at the Bar Colony Heritage Cultural Center so they could play to their heart's content and expose visitors to the tiny pastime. The only limit is your imagination and your pocketbook. And a lot of us guys, the imagination doesn't wear out. It was something that moved. I liked the building the buildings. I liked doing the scenery, uh, painting backdrops, things like that. And one thing leads to the other. It'd be nothing for us guys you know, went after supper, go downstairs for three or four hours and just tinker away on building a building or rewiring an engine or something. But their display is about to get a facelift, just in time for the centennial in 2003. To the east of us is the oilman's display. They're building a whole new area for the oilman. And when they start, we're going to move our present layout into that area. And then the museum has given us an area to build and we're going to model Lloyd Minster in the 1950s. CN and CP Rail have already handed over blueprints showing the original rail route around the border city during that time. 
Club members are looking forward to the project, combining the history of Lloyd Minster with their love of the choo-choo. And that's it for this week in Retrospect. Retrospect this week is brought to you by Webb's Ford. Worth your while to drive the extra mile. Webb's Ford in Vermilion.